Okay, guys. Uh, <clears throat> oh, my God. I just had a shower. But all this is sweat you're looking at. And I just have this one little advice for you. Don't consume hot peppers at night. Especially before a video. So, what are we going to be doing tonight? We're going to be revisiting Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. Remember that video that I had made like two years ago? Yeah, uh, apparently people still remember it because today I got a new comment on that and I was like, yeah, you know what? Let's revisit that. Uh, that's basically, you know, a tutorial on how to beat Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition on one credit. And on that tutorial, I even did it like uh, without losing any round whatsoever. So I got like the special, special ending. So that's me welcoming you, welcoming you properly. Hello there, I'm Tassos. Well, you know what? Scratch that. I'm TGS. Yeah, it started to grow on me. A uh, huge shout out to Cat Got Your Tongue. It's actually Cat Got Your Games. Rolls off the tongue. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that. So, uh, we're gonna be remaking my most viewed video on this channel, which uh, doesn't really say much, but yeah, 11,000 views, it's not something that happens every day uh, in my channel, at least. And that would have never been a possible if it wasn't for the precious help of my buddy Daryl Chung, the man, the legend, the face of Mortal Kombat in that small corner of YouTube that we got over here. So basically what I am going to be doing is beating that the crap out of that thing, uh, Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition. It's been a while. I'll try to pull it off without losing any rounds, but you know, I feel uh, like that might be an issue for me, but I feel confident enough but I, that I can still do it on one credit alone, and that's something, I guess. So, uh, if you want to watch the original video, the tutorial on how to beat Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, uh, just by using one credit and without losing any rounds, I will leave the link for you down in the description. And please remember, this is not a Styles uh, gameplay, no. It's like the simplest kind of way uh, for everyone out there to understand how to beat the game using simple pattern solving and very uh, simple strats, uh, you know, so that, yeah, uh, keep that in mind before you say that, you, well, this guy's gameplay is boring. Of course, it was meant to be boring because it's the easier kind of way uh, for you to beat this game. So let's grab our boy Ryu and beat the shit out of that. Oh my god, my lips are burning. I tried my best to fix the camera angle. I don't know if that's a proper image for you. Well, I, I guess we'll have to work with that. So, what do we say? Uh, let's go. Let's go. Let's pick our boy Ryu and let's give him presents. Because this is what Hal used to call it, right? Give him a little presents. While introducing them to the Hadouken. So, uh, Dalsim. I know that's, you know, a very early round to try my strats, but Dalsim is really easy to hit with grabs. And when he actually does the Yoga Flame, you can jump in between that, in between the Yoga Flame and him. I hope I'm not obstructing the gameplay. Okay, there, there's how to do it. And when he does the Yoga Fire, just answer with a Tatsumaki. There it is. Give him a little present. He'll try that again, probably. Ah, even better. Let's give him a little present. What? Let's give him a little present again. It worked this time. So, I hope my my fingers, you know, are kind of obstructing, but then again, you know, I'll try to keep my finger down. Maybe 
a little challenge for me. You must defeat Seng Long to stand a chance. Well, no, that's wrong. Okay. Japan. Oh, our boy Ryu. So we have the double double ganger fight, and basically, what he does is, you know, delivering the the Hadouken. You jump over it. You hit him. Sometimes he just stands there, and then what he does basically is the the Soryuken. And you can take advantage of that as well. There we go. When he goes right at you, just keep your cool. There we go. So you can go close, wait for him to land, grab him. If you're not feeling up to it, just, you know, before he lands, hit him. That's what I used to do all the time. And actually works. You can follow up with a Hadouken, a little present. There we go. There it is. Oh, I thought he would be doing the Hadouken. Oh. I got baited there. Let's give him a little present. Oh. That's surprising. Give him a little present. Give him a little present. Give him a little present. I said, let's see, yeah, we give, we gave him a little present. I'm actually blinded by the light right next to me, but I swear that was the only way for you to actually see what's going on on the screen. Just looking back and forth to see what I'm, re what am I recording and it kind of looks okay. I don't know. So, uh, this is Honda. Uh, in later versions of the game, like Super Street Fighter 2 and stuff, he becomes like a lot tougher. You can take him out with a Hadouken. But in this, if you keep spamming the, the Tatsumaki, it's too much for him. You can actually cheese him so badly, you can get a double flawless... Oh, oh, yeah, that's a different game. Sorry. Yeah. There it is. We, we actually get Honda... Look at that. We're talking some crazy damage here. And he keeps going at it. There we go. Double perfect. Of course it's perfect. Yeah, we give him a little present. What this guy called me, though, was this, this one guy that he called me, like, the Bob Ross of Street Fighter. That's the best comment ever for me. <laughs> So let's break that uh, Lexus. Is it a Lexus? I don't know. I don't care. I'm just gonna break it. Who told this guy to park here? Seriously. Funny thing. Uh, right here in, in the city where I live in, there is a pier like that. Oh, well, not exactly like that. I mean, not a pier in that kind of sense, you know, where... Um, it's, there's a place where they actually co uh, park cars, and it's right next to the sea, right next to the port. And when I look at it, you know, it's like I feel like Ryu or Ken will just pop out of nowhere, start breaking cars. I just hope it's not mine. So here we go with Blanca. When he's far away, you can uh, give him give him presents like that, and he'll never stop. He's like this irresistible asshole that he keeps coming for your gifts. If he jumps too close, then you better stop what you're doing and start roundhousing him, because it actually works. But so far, it seems like he can't handle it. Oh, goodness gracious. Or should I say, goodness gracious? Ah. Give him a little present. See? Roundhouse always works. So when he's jumping at you, don't do what I did. Just try roundhousing him. When he gets close to you. When he's far away, just uh, use the Hadouken. There we go. Huh. 
There we go. See? Oh, he was fast enough. There we go. See? It's working like a charm. But I can't resist it. Let's give him a little present. Sorry, we can. Yeah, I have a love hate relationship with the Sorry, we can because I feel like it's not worth it. Like the inputs that you have to do, like uh, in an instant. Uh, while the Ranha is so versatile, it doesn't leave you wide open. You can still follow up with the Hadouken. So this is Guile. Yeah, this jar-headed dude. Uh, I kind of hate him because usually when I do get to lose a round, it's versus this guy. It's because, you know, he gets on my nerves and I get hasty and then, you know, stuff like that happens. But he gets jumping at you plenty of times and you can give him a little present just like that. There we go. Give him a little present. Be very patient with this guy. He keeps turtling up, so why not play with the clock a little bit? It's not like he won't make a mistake. He's a dumbass. Let's give him a little present. Also, like, the, the arcade one-up dropped the ball with the background here. This guy looks like he has a messed up mouth. Like, he's, he has been, like, critically injured, like, permanently disfigured. And <laughs> normally it's not like that. <laughs> Okay, you almost hit me there. Let's give him a little Hadouken. Of course. There we go. There we go. You can try Tatsumaki and try what I did right now, but you, you have to calculate the distance. And really, it's not worth it. Just, you know, play with the clock with this guy. He'll eventually start messing up. Let's give him a little present. There we go. That was actually a round that I didn't want to do. Like, I like to keep things simple uh, so that people would understand exactly what I'm doing. Uh, and it's not like I'm a pro or anything like that. And I don't like the idea of uh, me getting into, uh, you know, trying to teach myself 20 hit combos or stuff like that, especially for games like this. I don't really need it, you know, to beat the AI. The whole idea is try to beat the game, that's all. And basically uh, give the opportunity to people that have lost their wits in all those quarters back in the day as kids to get their sweet revenge, that's all. Yeah. In the next round I'll give you a little present. It'll be your own medicine, your Soryuken. Ken is dumb. I said it. <laughs> Can it. Look at his AI, like, he has all those weapons and doesn't even know how to use them. You jackass. There you go. Jackass. See? He's dumb. He's just jumping around with no reason. There we go. Oh, I'll just let him do his thing now. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, please. By all means, do the show you can. No? Ah, oh, failed. It's because, you know, it was using these short jumps real fast. And it had to be real fast. And, you know, you have to take your time with the input. So I messed it up. Sorry, Ken, you didn't get your gift. It's the barrels now! The barrels! Let's do this. Oh, we're still in it. Yeah! <laughs> I wanted to do a sorry weekend, but it didn't work. So, yeah. Still works, though. Still still counts. That was awesome. Thank you. I know I'm awesome. China! Okay. Chun-Li is actually 
uh, one of the very few people that lets you use the sword you can. Oh. There we go. There we go. I can see you coming. Oh! Forget that shit. <laughs> I ain't losing no round just because of that. Alright. Nice! Ooh, she grabbed me! There we go. Yeah, no way. Give her a little present. So it's recording properly, I think adequately. I would say. I would say so myself. Okay. So there's like Zangief, and I'm glad he appeared right now because um, he'll be really tough. But I'll show you exactly what you need to do. Neutral jump. And then Tatsumaki. Watch out for this one. Watch out for uh, his low kick, which is higher priority than yours. But my Tatsumaki is better than yours. Give him a little present. Oh, it didn't work. How about that? And this is how you destroy Zangief, because he can be really cheap. Like, he can suck you in like a vacuum cleaner, and, you know, you can be that kind of distance, still he would pull off the pile driver. How's that called? Yeah, this one. Yeah, thank you, Zangief. Thank you for pointing out exactly how, how, how that happening. But, you know, that's not gonna work with luck. Not gonna work. Neutral jump. Don't get backed up to a corner with this guy in general, but especially with this guy. There we go. So far, so good. So it's like, uh, last four. So we have Bal Balrog, the boxer. He's really prone to getting hit by uh, the Tatsumaki and low kicks. Let's see if we can embarrass him. Ah, we sort of can. Let's give him a little present. There we go. He gets baited a lot. He can be tough in Super Street Fighter 2, I think. Maybe, you know, the tweak the AI just a little bit. I think, I think he is a little different in terms of AI. I might be wrong. I might be confused right now because of uh, Street Fighter 2 Turbo on Super Nintendo or something like that. But look at that. Look at what I'm doing right now because it actually works on Bison. I'm not even joking when I say that. So we got Balrog pretty easy. And now we're off to Vega. And people have problems with Vega, but you know, you can you can make him look real bad. I just hope, you know, I'm not too rusty to show that. There we go. Not bad. Not too shabby, Tassos. Not too shabby, TGS. Shout out to Cat Got Your Games. Because that, that's the first time I ever heard that name, TGS. And I actually like it a lot. So, there we go. Oh, I messed it up, sorry. There we go. And then you back him up to a corner. You make him look real bad. Yeah, I made him look real bad. And some people even has uh, have problem with Sagat, but you know this guy's predictable. He's like a big target, so you have to jump like in a specific kind of way. Be right above him. Look at that. 
such a wuss. I practically bullied him into a perfect. I bullied him. I tried. I tried schooled him. I tried school the guy. It's time to go to school. Is that what? <coughs> I'm sorry. But it's the peppers. Still got stuck some on my throat. Uh, <coughs> isn't that what Apollo Creed said to Drago? Like, it's time to go. For, it's time to go to school. And then he died. That's sad. Okay, Sagat. I know that he has a nice arsenal. I mean, yeah. But come on, like he's far too predictable. Look at that. Give me a little present. Perfect. Seems like I'm making it, probably. I don't want to jinx it too much. It's been a while. But, you know, then again, it's muscle memory, man. It's muscle memory. There we go. See? Keep your cool. Keep your guard up. You'll bait him each and every time. Let's give him a little present. I think we schooled him. Look at that. Look at that. I'm so cool. I'm so cool. And now it's Bison. And neutral jump does work with this guy. And the Tatsumaki does does, does help a lot. Don't stay app standing in front of him too much. And when he's far away, just throw a, a Hadouken just before he goes up. Like that. Cut him off with a neutral jump. Oh, see? Uh, he'll try to be real cheap with me, but I'm not gonna let him. Give him a little present. There we go. First round, he's off. He's out. He's out cold. And I'll keep the same energy with a second round so that I won't fail you guys. There we go. Well, you better not get back to a corner with this guy. Oh, that was not good. There we go. Oh, got him. Oh. I do again. Give him a little present. Oh. Give him a little present. Another one. And another one. See, we got him. Without losing any round, seems like TGS still got, still got this. He still got this. And we embarrassed pretty much the entire uh, set of AI players in the game. So, uh, I actually did it. I'll still leave the link of my original video, How to Beat Street Fighter 2 champion edition and one credit without losing any rounds uh, because I, I still think I did a better job there because I played kind of simpler even simpler than that uh, I kind of kind of played just a little bit maybe a little bit the way I like to play in general usually that involves risks so I'll leave you with that sweet ending because it's actually pretty good and I think the recording is halfway decent, I wouldn't say it's perfect. But I tried my best, the best angle, you know, I'm testing my new PS5 camera, so I hope uh, you can forgive me for that. Uh, yeah, that's it. TGS still got this, look at that. Crazy. That looks real good, right? Nice ending. I wonder why Blanca doesn't use a special move. <laughs> like, why does everyone else do? Okay. I mean, this guy uses a flash kick. Why didn't Blanca use his special move? Like, look at that. Why didn't he use uh, his Thunder Shock or something? 
Well, it kind of makes sense for Chun Li. He, she's all jumping around and stuff. Yeah, I would rather prefer he takes that can, that that uh, barrel, and smashes it. Imagine like if he smashed it with a pile driver. <laughs> that would actually feel fun. Awesome. The guy's so cool in this one, and then, you know, they start adding that weird squeaky voice of his in Super Street Fighter 2, and later on, I feel like, oh my god, he's creepy as hell already, and he, he's making it even worse. So, presented by Capcom. Yeah. So, that was it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. As for me, I'll see you next time. Have a good one.